I am joined here by the legendary David Lebel. And I was, I was just watching, you know, Jared obviously he has got a really good swing. I could tell in about two seconds that he's probably the best of the group. Whoa, I hit recorded job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Takeaway, I mean, it's like that's the only common denominator that virtually every good player has now. They're all, got, they're all here. There, and there's no pros on tour that play from under. No. under. You can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these To me, Bubby's takeaway move looks a whole lot like Matthew Fitzpatrick's takeaway move. Yes, it goes inside, but Matthew Fitzpatrick did just win the US Open, so it is effective. And as this golf article points out, you can take the club back inside, roll your forearm a bit, and this will help you hit draws. Bubby hits draws, it's a good problem to have, especially the high draw, which is probably the hardest shot to hit. Unlike Matthew Fitzpatrick, Bubby gets the golf club across the line at the top. I know that David Ledbetter doesn't consider this a problem, but a good thing. It's a very natural motion. If I swing the club with two fingers and a thumb, look where the club wants to get to. It's slightly across the line. Many great players throughout the history of this game have actually had the club slightly across the line at the top. Apparently, if you get the club across the line doing an A swing, David Ledbetter's name for his across the line swing, then going across the line actually helps you get the club on the right path on the downswing. And once you're here, the club has a almost, you put life into the club. It has a life of its own. It's got swing. You're putting swing into your swing from this position. Here, David Ledbetter says that Bubby needs a consistent takeaway path. So watch how quickly you whip the club inside here. Just roll, I roll this over. See yeah. how you roll it? Yeah. What's funny here is that David Ledbetter keeps calling Garrett Jarrett. It's a G. If Garrett added an E to the end of his name, it could be a French girl's name, Garrett. I don't know if that's actually a name. But look how David Ledbetter is encouraging Bubby to switch his takeaway to be more like Garrett's, which is more like the takeaway that Matthew Fitzpatrick switched away from. Matthew Fitzpatrick actually changed his Garrett takeaway to be more like Bubby's current takeaway. Okay, so check out Jared here. So you see that there? So there's the difference. It's, it's, it's all in the takeaway. So yes, if, you, if you learn to get a good takeaway, the rest follows. comes easy. While I think everyone can agree that a good takeaway sets you up for the rest of your swing, what exactly is a quote unquote good takeaway? I think Matthew Fitzpatrick and his coach would say that you want to have Bubby's takeaway rather than Garrett's. Have you worked with a lot of baseball players? Like, yeah, I worked with Vegeta. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's good enough. That's unreal. What's unreal is that Jeter has Bubby's takeaway. But you got to get the club on a consistent track, right? Yes, sir. So watch how quickly you whip the club inside here. One of the reasons that you aim right is because it's, it compensates for what you do. I come over and Yeah, smother. so you go in and aim this way. Does Bubby swing look at all like he comes in and over this way, aka over the top? No, it does not. Yes, so sir. naturally, you've got to aim right, because if you aim straight, you're going to hit him over here. Yes, sir. So here, David Ledbetter points out the captain obvious of the situation, that if Bubby aims more to the left, the ball's going to go more to the left. This isn't mind-blowing stuff. But what is odd is, as I pointed out, David Ledbetter seems to think that Bubby is one of these guys who aims to the right and then comes over the top. Does it look like Bubby comes over the top on his golf swing? No, it does not. It's also interesting to point out that David Ledbetter knows the new ball flight laws, as pointed out by TrackMan, because David Ledbetter himself is in the TrackMan commercial discussing the new ball flight laws. In this video by TrackMan, from seven years ago or so, David Ledbetter explicitly states that he was brought up under the old ball flight laws. We now know, obviously, that obviously the, the face plays such an important role in the initial starting direction that the ball takes off on. He knows that club face at impact is 70 to 80 to 90 percent of where a ball's starting line is, and that the swing path dictates the curvature of the ball. Back in the day, we believed the opposite. We thought that club face is what caused the spin and that the swing path caused the starting line. So riddle me this, Batman. If Bubby hits a high draw, meaning that his ball starts out to the right of the target and then comes back 
to the left right at the target, that means his club face at impact is to the right of the target and that his swing path brings it around to the left, which means he's swinging in to out. I always hit that big sweep yeah, what, deck okay. same and Miles right and yeah, that so, yeah, so you There's no way with a high draw the bubby can be coming over the top. Aiming to the right, actually you do that instinctively because you're an athlete, because you know that, hey, the club's coming this way, so I better aim right. Because this wouldn't cause a right to left ball flight. His club face, again, has to be to the right of the target and impact, and then curving to the left because of his swing path. You see, so it's, your aim is not your problem, it's the effect. I don't understand how David Ledbetter says, your aim is not your problem, it's the effect. How do you know the cause and effect in this situation where because he aims right, now he's swinging in doubt and it's causing the ball to curve right to left. Be more specific. It's the effect of what? The effect of you coming over the top, something that you don't do? This is just more of this David Ledbetter shell game. I don't know what he's talking about. And probably neither do you. And that's why I'm the coffeezilla of golf YouTube. Finish friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the deep. Callaway and David Ledbetter and the boys at Good Good need to sell a product. Here's the key, here's the key. Watch as you go back here. Watch, you want to feel that your hands stay in and the club head stays out. So now the focus of this video is working on Bubby's takeaway about the first foot of it or so. This is shown over and over again that you can't roll your forearms over to start the backswing. No one does it apparently. And if only there was some kind of device to help. You never want to get the club behind your hand. Which is where I am. Yeah. And finally, David Ledbetter reaches into his pocket and pulls out the device. It's only a prototype right now. This is the point, like in a horror movie, when the monster finally reveals itself. So you see this, this has to point, this has to be parallel to the thing on the ground. Then we are treated to minutes of Bubby trying to master this prototype that's going to change his golf swing. There's a thing called consistency, but I mean, we're, we're talking about what we call synchronization. So if I go, if I go like this and then I go like this, it's the club's traveling way too far. You were a player who I felt that, you know, tended to, the arms tend to get long and run on there and you lost your sync going back and then you would somehow try to find it coming down. And this is David Ledbetter teaching the A swing and whose swing did that just look like? It looked like Bubby's, didn't it? But here, the club drops behind him rather than, as he claims about Bubby, encouraging the person to do an over-the-top action. Okay, okay, you get up to it, and we'll talk about this, the V angle, the V plane, as we call it. Ledbetter insists that the hands stay inside the club. At this point where the club has just passed his right thigh, the right wrist starts to hinge. And the reason I'm bringing up this horror show of a golf instruction video is because I want you to see where David Ledbetter is trying to take Bubby. I say that is because his left arm is moving on a, on a flattish plane inside, and we can see at this point there's no rotation with his forearms whatsoever. Do you think this looks like the perfect top of the backswing position? Do you see anyone else all cramped up like this? This is the perfect model where you get the shaft almost parallel to your spine. Look at the angle at the base of his wrists. The insanity continues with serious cuppage as the gold standard. You see that literally is a square club face. Most instructors would say that this is an open club face because the toe is hanging straight down. And then David Ledbetter actually points out, no, you don't want a flat. You want this extreme cupped wrist. This is insane. He's also got a little pinch between his right bicep and his chest. You know the right bicep pinch training aid will be coming soon to Callaway. I'm betting that Steven from Good Good has to take the hit on this one. You don't want this right arm flying because the shorter the arm swing is the better. Good luck as the club face is open on the downswing, not having to rely on timing, which David Ledbetter scoffs at, to square the club face. Look how open the club face is. Of course you're gonna have to use your hands and timing to square it up. You're actually hurting people's swings, David Ledbetter. You should be ashamed of yourself. Bubby has to pretend to be amazed for this infomercial as David Ledbetter tells him it's called the straightaway as it helps you take it straight away. So you can see if I had a medicine ball here and I just did this. Because once you get a picture, 
You might, might understand. Yeah.